This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. In the last and final Chapter 6, this is the last and final Section 27. A Parable of Forgiveness The End of Seeking Forgiveness is the means to be in the miracle where all questions are answered. This beautiful parable told by Hugh and Gail Prather in a book for couples expresses it well. There was a seeker who went before God and said, You have told me that my training is almost complete. You have said that I am nearly ready to leave the world of form and enter into our heavenly kingdom. But you who are love has given me no instruction in the ways between a man and a woman. Yes, my child, said God. There is a question that saddens you. But do you see it clearly? And as he had been trained, the seeker went within the silence and abode there a while. Shortly, he said, I have many questions that sadden me. Am I to marry or be alone? And if I am alone, am I to be celibate? And if I am to marry, are we to be alone or with children? And if I have a spouse and children, do they join me in the work you have given me? And if they are to to join me, what am I to do if they refuse? Yes, my child, said God. These and a thousand questions more you could ask. Yet, do you not see a single question beneath all the others? Again the student touched the silence, and this time he remained still for a long while. Presently he said, I believe the one question I have is, Am I alone? And God said, You have seen well. You have seen the only question there is. The world you are about to ascend from was merely this question. Still the seeker did not laugh. And so God said, Perhaps, my child, you think you do not know the answer. The seeker said, Are there no thoughts you can give me to answer the many little questions that are born of this one? There are indeed many while you believe that the one is many, said God. But they are all answered in the one answer. And then God spoke to the seeker from deep within the depths of love. You are the miracle you must perform. And whenever you seem to fail in this function, you will feel alone And by this choice, you will abstain from all life, all truth, all reality. You will know when you have remembered your function by the love that overwhelms judgment and desire. For the miracle is your function, to be the reflection of my love, and then see our divine spirit as all there is, To give love easily and thus receive it easily. Nothing you say or do in the world will have any meaning without love. To love is to be in the shining heart of me and thus within the hearts of the least and the greatest of my children. For when you are in the heart of me, You do not look through the faults of your brother. You do not look past them or over them or around them. 
you look within me. For only in my heart will you recognize the pulse that courses through all creation. In this world, you will be tempted to believe that to love one, you must first love all. But I tell you now that you must forgive one brother before you can love all. For there is only one. It matters not if you seemed to take a spouse or have no spouse, seemed to have children or have them not. For this brother you forgive is every child, woman and man you look upon. But until you treat at least one brother as you would be treated and come to recognize that his heart is your own, you will seem to wander alone through space and time and dream of death. You will seem to think of hurting your brother and dream of hurting me. But when at last you wake to who your brother is, you will waken as one in me. During that instant, you will return home and I will sing you the eternal song of happiness. For you are my child and there is no other. And I will rock you awake to life in me. You who are my joy and my meaning and my completion. I hold a place in eternity for you where we dwell as one. I in you and you in me forever. No.